What's going on to all of you Pisces? So you have the uh, the uh, Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the uh, Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands, okay, Three of Cups, the Star, the Tower, the Strength, the Knight of, uh, excuse me, the Page of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces, right, is, um, well, first and foremost, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles is all about how, uh, yes, to, to be verbally, to be honest with you, and to be verbally honest with you, yes, a lot of things happen to you in relationships where people are very disrespectful, and a lot of you Pisces do not deserve to be disrespected in a lot of the ways or, you know, the ways that a lot of you are. Um, a lot of people go out of their way to be disrespectful. A lot of people do things that they didn't have to. Let me show it to you. A lot of people go out of their way and they do things to be disrespectful and they don't even have to be, but they're doing it, you know what I mean? Just to be extreme. They're doing it to take it to the extreme with it, to try to be as disrespectful as they possibly can, because somehow in their mind and their delusion, they're proving a point. So, um, the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups represents how a lot of you Pisces don't really, uh, really engage in that type of behavior. You evolve Pisces, because some obviously there are going to be people who do, right? But a lot of you Pisces don't involve yourselves in that level of stupidity anymore. Not the way that you used to. And some of you, mm, not at all. Because the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups represent, the Six of Wands is about maturing, right? In this particular reading, it's about maturing. It's about you actually moving forward and deciding to not do the things that you used to in the past. But the Three of Cups represents you Pisces being in a situation where, and because you you have this um, mature, you, you gain this maturity, a lot of the things that you were doing right in the past you've actually cut out doing the three of cups um one of the things that you used to do from the past was uh cheat right a lot of pisces i'm not saying every last pisces right that's not what i'm saying but a lot of pisces have a a, a reputation of being che uh, cheater being unreliable right in a general sense in a general sense and a lot of you pisces have has cut that out a lot of y'all don't do that anymore, right? A lot of y'all are not, you know, um, wishy-washy as some people would say. Um, and not saying what's going on. A lot of you Pisces are stating that you do care about somebody, but you're not a doormat, right? You're not a doormat. You're not, you know, even a fish is not a doormat. So the thing about it is that, so a lot of you don't do the things that you used to do from the past and to see how it is that people still go out of their way, still to this day, to be disrespectful and try to make it seem like there's something wrong with you as to why it is that they're doing what they're doing. Like, people don't have to cheat on you. There's a such thing as breaking up with you first. And then when they break up with you, then they go do what it is that they need to do but there's no kind of decency. People can't control themselves. It's the idea of, you know, they, they on one level, it's, they don't know if they're gonna ever get this offer again. So they have to take advantage while they can. So they go with and they hang out with and they smash anybody that they can get their hands on, right? In, in that sense, All right? Of course, that's willing. Of course, that goes without saying. But then it's also the flip side where it's they're really going out of their way or they or people really went out of their way to do some things to you, Pisces, that were hurtful, that they knew it was going to be hurtful. But that was the intention. And once again, I really want you, Pisces, to understand, because I've said this in a couple of videos, that people who go out of their way to be disrespectful the way that they are 
are people who are secretly in love with you, regardless of who it is. They're getting off on the fact that, you know, they, they are hurting you. But you got to understand why it is that they're doing that. The reason why they're doing that in the first place is because they're in love with you and that they need to trick themselves out of being in love with you. So they have to come up with a reason. They have to start doing stupid stuff. They have to start doing more stuff. Now, obviously, when it's happening to you or when it's happening, period, it sucks. Right. But at the same time, uh, even though they're doing stuff like that at the end of the day, though, right at the end of the day it's still a situation where they know what it is but you can't hang around those types of people so now you have the star you have the star the tower okay and then you have the strength so um this is about this being a situation for you where now that you're moving forward with yourselves your lives okay it's, you know, now the only thing that you have to get over, okay, is pretty much the memories of the past. That's the only thing that you Pisces have to learn to get over. Because I do not see any physical person that's in the way or that's, that's in your proximity right now. I'm seeing that you Pisces are very much so single. And that's not necessarily really a bad thing because this really goes to show that, you know, you were you're actually getting you're actually walking away from somebody in the past. That's what the first three cards with the eight of uh, the eight of uh, swords, the knight of wands and the six of pentacles was talking about. This was talking about how a lot of you um, actually was getting over or you're moving past a particular situation. And the thing about it is, is that uh, you, you, even though you're single right now, the star, the tower and the strength card is about you're actually learning how to get over thinking about that situation over and over and over again. You know, as I, you know, I've been saying this, you know, eventually you have to move forward with your life. You know, everyone does eventually, you know, now, now. Does, does that mean that people are going to successfully move forward? No, but I'm saying that eventually that's the that's the healed thing to do is to be like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. And that if you choose not to, to do that, then eventually, you know, you will never actually do the things that you want to in your life. So then now, right? But I should say this, though. The, you have the strength card, you have the tower. So this is about the ego and how you got to pay attention to the ego and pay attention to how it is that you feel at this current point in time. You have to learn to get over your, 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 uh, your false ideas of what should have happened. Take into consideration that, again, this person is in love with you. These people who go out of their way to do stuff like that are hurt or whatever the case may be and they are secretly in love with you but the problem with them is is that they aren't they are not functional enough they're, they're not functional enough to even give you the kind of relationship that you pisces would pretty much even want so take that into consideration so now when it's time for you to heal please understand that it's not about them at that point when you're healing it's really about you, you know, it's about you. Um, the page of wands and the five of pentacles now is about because what will happen, right? This pretty much proves the point even further, drives it home. Because if you don't learn to move forward, what happens is, is that you get stuck thinking about the, the what could have happened in a relationship with the people that you were um in the past with over and over and over again, right? Reminiscing and going down memory lane about relationships that you've already been in that didn't work out. And then now it's like, you can't really seem to get over that those situations because you know those people loved you. Yeah, they loved you, but at the same time, they were messed up, they were dysfunctional. 
and you end up getting over thinking about it over and over and over again by honestly like i said forgiving them well well first of all reviewing it in your mind thinking about it and then you you understand where it is that you messed up and then you forgive yourself you forgive them and then you you get over the process by allowing yourself to move forward and proceeding to actually move forward so you know what it is that you need to do next some of us may need to be single some of us may need to keep trying to get to know other people do whatever it is that it takes in order for you to move forward so whatever you know you got you have to do whether it's continue to get to know other people whether it's staying by yourselves do those do do that you know and um when it comes to going back don't look at the person's social media page don't do this don't do that right don't look at their social media page don't talk to them don't reach out to them don't do any of that stuff because again they're out of your life it's not like you know these people still have a strong friendship with you no these people are literally out of your life so the page of wands and the um five of pentacles now represents so a lot of you pisces also when it comes to the, the moving on process understand like i said that nothing could have been done to really salvage a would-be relationship it ended exactly the way that it should have ended with you and them moving forward because well, I should say more specifically, you're moving forward. I don't know about them. I don't really care about them. But or I should say because this is something that you need to do. You know, your life doesn't just stop here just simply because you had difficulties with this bozo. Right. So with this goofy individual. So, of course, you have to move forward with your life. So let's clarify some of these cards. If you're finding value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come and get a personal reading from me, okay? There's a link in the comment section, right, uh, called the link tree. Click on it. It will, it will uh, redirect you to a website, right, in ways you can uh, financially support me as well as just support me in general from my Instagram page, the books that I have that are on Amazon, um, my clothing store, as well as my private tarot readings and when you click on private to rural readings, it'll redirect you to a website in which it has uh, my services, private to rural readings, birth chart uh, readings, and it has my prices, how much time you get, a description. Um, also, you scroll down a little bit, it'll have the buy now button, a cash app button above that. Okay. And my Amazon, it has my books because I'm an author. Uh, I've written two books. I'm currently uh, actually getting done with my third i'm almost done actually only about three chapters left and um you can support me any of those ways i really appreciate it thank you so let's clarify the um let's clarify the page of uh page of wands let's clarify the page of wands You have the Three of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Nine of Cups, and the Tower. Now, you already got the Tower in this reading. But again, the Tower is just ever more of, a, of an emphasis to you yet again. Because it seems to be a reoccurring card. of You need to understand that the, the, the difficulty of moving forward, this is actually natural. This is a part of the process. That... You know, you're not, it's not that you didn't care about this person and it's not that you're a robot. Part of being just alive is sometimes the difficulties and the pain of moving forward because you're not a robot. It's not like you don't care and you don't have feelings and you just don't care. But the uh, Three of Pentacles, the Temperance and the Nine of uh, Cups represents um, well, the three of the three of uh, pentacles is about, but you need to understand that it's within you. At the end of the day, it's based off of what you really want to do, right? Who do you choose to be? Is my is my point? 
The temperance is that you have the power to go any direction that you want. You can either choose to reminisce about this person, right? Or you can choose to use your knowledge and move forward, you know, away from them. And the two of you branch off. They, they, live, your, they live their lives. You live yours. And a nine of cups, right? And you could choose to be happy or you could choose to be like this, where you're having a super difficult time, much more than what's necessary because you're holding on to what's happening. Even though that your story, when it comes to your past relationships, actually already did have its happy ending. The two of you are not together. Because see, when this type of stuff happens, you got to understand like, most people are dysfunctional when this type of stuff happens in the first place. Because <clears throat> when these types of relationships happen, either it's when and they break up, either this is a telltale sign that somebody's dysfunctional, heavily dysfunctional in the relationship, or it means that this is a telltale sign of both people are dysfunctional. And obviously, this person, yes, you, you were a little bit codependent, but this person was uh, dysfunctional way more than you. They were severely dysfunctional. And you Pisces did the correct thing by leaving. It doesn't make you codependent or it doesn't make you dependent or whatever based off of the fact that you cared, you know, that makes you ad admirable that you cared, you know, because you're not a robot. You're not, it's not like you pretend that you don't care or not. So let's clarify the Five of Pentacles. So you have um, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of, excuse me, the Eight of Cups, and the Fool. So, so what does moving forward bring? Well, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, it brings a lot more enjoyment a lot more um power doing the things that you want to do spending the day that you want to spend it the eight of cups the fool it brings um finally the ability to move forward from these emotional attachments and the fool you get to do whatever you want you don't have to reconsider somebody else if you don't want to because it's just you, all right? So these are just some of the benefits that you get. But um, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Uh, uh, I really appreciate that. As, as a matter of fact, y'all subscribe into the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. Please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.